As we meditate, we're working on a skill. And part of developing a skill is remembering what worked in the past, what approaches you tried, what ways of focusing on the breath, what ways of conceiving the breath, what ways of playing with the breath. Enable the mind to settle down. And it's good to have that knowledge on tap, but you don't want it to get in the way of seeing what's actually going on right now. It's possible to over-determine or over-predetermine what's going to happen in the meditation. And if you notice that things are not settling down properly or they're not quite right yet, just put aside what you've learned in the past and try to listen to what the breath is telling you right now. Listen to what the body's telling you. What, was, what does it seem to need? What does it seem to want? What kind of breathing? In other words, make a really careful survey of what's actually going on right now and try to listen carefully. Be open to new things. Notice where there's a discomfort in the body and what kind of breathing might help, what it seems to want to do, or where there's a discomfort in the mind, where is it not quite settling down, where does it not feel quite secure or snug with its object. Impose that question in the mind. What could be done here? Don't be too quick to answer it, but see at the same time if there's some immediate response that comes from an unexpected quarter. Because after all, we are dealing with ignorance here. And the problem with ignorance is not that we don't know anything at all. We know an awful lot of things, but they're irrelevant or actually harmful to what we're trying to do. And we're trying to get around that. We don't want to be a prisoner of past karma, our old preconceived notions. And sometimes we're dealing not only with known unknowns, but also unknown unknowns. And the only way to learn them is by looking at what the Buddha said is the big issue. Where is there stress? Because by definition, if we're doing something wrong, there's going to be stress someplace. If there's any lack of skill in our attitudes, in any of the ways we fabricate our experience, it's going to result in stress. And so you have to learn how to sensitize yourself to where that stress is, because it may be in an unexpected place, or it may show itself in unexpected ways. But that's our lifeline out of where we are right now. finding the stress, and then learning how to comprehend it, exactly what's connected to that stress, what would be needed to put an end to it. In some cases it's fairly obvious, in others it's not. The really difficult cases are when people get into very strong states of concentration and they see no stress in there at all. Like the Brahmas the Buddha had to deal with, in this case of Baka Brahma who was convinced that he had attained the ultimate attainment. And so the Buddha had to go and show him, no, there's something more, something higher. Because it is very easy when you get into subtle states of concentration to say, well, whatever little stress there may be here is totally understandable, it's natural, um, there's nothing to get worked up about, and therefore this is as far as you can get. And that view right there blocks any further development. And so regardless of where you are in the meditation, often it's that nagging stress someplace. That's your lifeline out. That's what can pull you away from your ignorance. Because after all, you are again learning how to look at things in terms of where is their stress and what's causing it. So learning how to sensitize yourself to what seems to be lacking right now and what seems to be needed right now. and allowing yourself to pursue those lines of inquiry. 
that's how you open the way.